Welcome Gemini. This is Renee. Welcome back. Gemini, this is going to be your reading for the next 48 hours. What's going on with Gemini? What can they expect in the next 48 hours? Spirits. What's coming up for Gemini? Okay, let's get some energy. Okay, we have worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So you may be worrying about a certain outcome. You're worrying about something that's coming through, something that may be delayed. And we have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Okay. And we have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Beautiful energy, Gemini. We also have at the bottom honesty. I can always expect the truth. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So there may be some sort of situation that you're worrying about, Gemini. And I mean, you're trying very hard to find a little bit of spark of happiness in the situation. But you feel like this situation is going to maybe bring some change that's needed in your situation. Um, but I feel like with this, with this card of honesty... I feel like there may be something that you need to be honest with yourself about. Or maybe someone's not being totally honest with you. And you can kind of sense that. You can kind of sense that someone's not telling you the whole truth. You know? Um, with this freedom card, it may have to do with money or finances. But it may have to do with just, you know, bringing you balance and stability. Okay? Um, let's take a look. What do we have for Gemini next 48 hours? What do we have for Gemini? Okay, we have the Empress. So Gemini, you are the beautiful Empress. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. I, was, I had a feeling it had to do something with, you know, finances or um, abundance. Okay. Okay, we have the Empress right now, and at the bottom we have the Chariot. So I feel like you're moving in the direction towards the things that you are kind of manifesting, towards the things that you are creating into your life. I feel like you're moving in that direction. You're manifesting something very strong, okay? But I feel like you kind of have lingering worries in, in the back of your mind that maybe something isn't going to turn out the way that you expect it. But hold tight, Gemini. Hold tight, okay? Um, we have the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. So I believe with this Empress energy, if it is <clears throat> abundance or your finances increasing, I feel like you're manifesting this very well. I feel like... You know, with this Ace of Pentacles here, there's going to be a burst of success. Okay? There's going to be some kind of financial breakthrough coming through for you. Because this Empress is manifesting this into your life. Okay? And I feel like with the Page of Wands, you're going to get some kind of indication of this manifestation you're going to get some kind of communication some word is going to come through and it's going to bring some honest truths to you there may be something that you need to work on there may be some sort of situation that you truly need to be honest with yourself or if you're in a partnership your partner needs to be truly honest with you but i feel like a lot of things are coming through for you this i'm getting excitement you know being very exhilarated, like a burst of energy as I'm doing your reading. So it's it's really beautiful. It's exciting. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and clarify these cards for Gemini. 
Spirit, give me a message for the Empress. What is this Empress energy, please? Give me more clarity for this Empress energy. Okay, we have the, the moon. Now, the moon wanted to come out in reverse, so I feel like there there's some things that are still unclear. There are some things that you may still need to work out. There are some truths that haven't been told yet. Okay, I, I believe that's where this honesty is coming through um, with this Queen of Swords energy. I feel like something is going to become more clear. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, we have the Six of Swords. So I feel like you're moving in the right direction. You're moving to a completion, to completing your goals. You're, you know, you are moving into this new cycle that's going to bring you more abundance, bring you more happiness, more stability, um, feeling more grounded, finding more peace, you know, and kind of quieting your mind so that you can hear the intuitive conversation that the universe is trying to send out to you. Okay, tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Spirit, tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles for Gemini. Okay, we have the Two of Wands. We have the Star card. And we have the, the Nine of Wands. Beautiful. Okay. So I feel like, you, <laughs> I'm really feeling like if you're a couple, I feel like you both are like holding the word, holding the world in your hands. You're like... Maybe a power couple. Um, I feel like if you're in a relationship with somebody, I feel like you're able to kind of beat the odds. Okay. Um, with the star card, I feel like this is this is some sort of renewal after this completion. Um, like a new outlook of what's to come kind of being very hopeful having faith in creating whatever whatever it is that you're creating because the two of wands is typically waiting for some type of result or needing to make a change it can also mean travel or looking towards the future okay um and i feel like you're you're taking this initiative to kind of plan But with the Nine of Wands, I feel like you're kind of being persistent. You, you aren't backing down. You're standing on your beliefs. You are gaining ground. With the Nine of Wands, I feel like you're like gaining momentum. You're like moving. You're starting slowly and you're like having this snowball effect to where, you know, it's going downhill. It's getting faster. It's building up. It's building up. So I feel like whatever you're completing, you're moving into a new cycle, a new beginning. Maybe you're moving out of this feeling of lack. And you are entering into this feeling of having everything that you need. You know? And I feel like the, the more it grows, the more you have this confidence and this ability to create more. Okay, so I'm really feeling like this is like dealing with your career and finances because this is like building wealth. Okay, tell me more about this page of wands. Tell me more about this page of wands. Okay, we have the temperance card. We have the five of wands and we have the, the queen of wands. Okay, so with this temperance, you're going to receive some kind of communication or you're waiting for something to come through. You're waiting to hear about something that, you know, you may have been waiting for. Um, but I feel like when this communication comes through, and I feel like it'll come through very quickly because we have it in the first row here. So within the next 48 hours, you're going to hear more word. You're going to have more confidence. This is going to really make you happy in the sense 
that you are gaining ground you're finding that stability you know you you've had this self-control maybe you've watched your spending and you're you're now feeling like it's really paying off be with the five of wands i feel like you you may have been through these challenges where it was hard not to spend or i feel like you know one thing breaks down and you have to take care of that another thing breaks down you have to take care of that another thing breaks down you have to take care of that which i totally understand um but i feel like with this queen of wands energy you are gaining momentum you're finding your confidence and you're feeling more self-assured with your finances, with your prosperity, with your building wealth, okay? Um, I feel like you, you've had courage in the sense that now you're gaining power, okay? That's what I'm getting with that Queen of Wands. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords energy. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords energy spirits. Okay, the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, with this Six of Cups energy, Two of Cups energy, Seven of Swords, I feel like something is, is becoming more clear. Some kind of truth is going to come out that maybe you did not know about, you weren't aware about, um, but it may be someone very close to you. Um, possibly a love interest or someone from the past I feel like you're gonna find out some truths you're gonna find out that they were not telling you the full truth you know there may be some things that you find out that maybe you have to be strong about maybe you have to have courage but I feel like some kind of information is gonna come out from about someone that you care very deeply about that you weren't aware of okay um some kind of truth it may be that someone very close to you betrayed you and you were not aware um or someone very close to you is being sneaky not being forthright with some kind of thing that you're pursuing someone's not being honest okay but this person is in a trap see they're stepping on a rope they're in a trap so they may not know it but it's all what what's done in the dark will come to light and they may not know that you know this information, but um, I, I feel like it kind of works at your advantage. Okay. Um, if that makes any sense. So just be aware of that. Okay. Um, let's get another row going for you. Gemini. Okay. Fix these cards up. Okay, let's get another row for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, the next 48 hours. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about what's going on with Gemini. Next 48 hours, please. Okay, we have the, the Ten of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups. Two Tens. Wow. We have the Five of Pentacles. And we have the uh, Knight of Swords. At the bottom, we have the Eight of Wands. So there's some kind of action that you're going to be taking some, or some kind of communication. I, I feel like with the Eight of Wands energy, this is like very fast energy. It's quick moving change. Something is going to change uh, very quickly or news is going to arrive very fast. But... Um, it, it's something that you may not be expecting, this change. Um, but here we see that there is something that is done and over with. There is something that is that you're leaving behind, that you're moving away from. But I feel like 
you still have your happiness. You still, you know, even though this is done and over with, you're content. You're okay with it. You're moving forward. You've, you're still finding your happiness. So whatever this is that's done and over with, I feel like you you are totally expecting this to happen. Okay. With the Five of Pentacles, I feel like there may be a little bit of disappointment coming your way you may receive a little disappointing news but i feel like you're pushing forward i feel like you still have victory but don't let your emotions be too hasty okay um the swords that's sometimes our thinking so i, I think that i think that your mind is like wandering off very fast okay but i feel like you're pushing forward you're moving past whatever this is very quickly you're gaining your confidence okay the the knight of swords can also be someone who's very fast talking or quick wit um who's around you maybe saying slick stuff okay um, this could also be a very fast lifestyle change. Um, so something's happening very quickly. Um, but it can also mean that you're moving a little bit too fast. You be, you could be too hasty in your decision making. Okay. So be aware of that. Okay. And look, I shuffled the cards. We got the eight of wands again. And so something is happening very quickly. Some kind of change is coming forward. Okay. Um, Spirit, give me a message for this Ten of Swords. What is this Ten of Swords energy? Tell me about this Ten of Swords energy, please. A message for Gemini. Next 48. Okay, we have the Empress again. Look, we have the Empress here. We have the Empress here. So... And we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Wow. Oh, my gosh. So whatever this is that's ended, I feel like this may be your worries ending, Gemini. This may be your feeling of not having enough finally over. Because look at this. We have the... Look, we start out with the Empress, which is very manifestation energy. She's fertile for new ideas, for new manifestations, for creating new things. Okay. And then to clarify the, the Ten of Swords, we have two more Tens. So you have four Tens in this reading. This is very significant. Ten Ten may be something that's very... Uh, significant to you and the number three because the empress is number three okay but i feel like something that you're manifesting is bringing you great abundance greater happiness and i feel like you're leaving behind your old lifestyle you're leaving behind the way you used to be okay you are entering into this happiness into this rejuvenation this new blessing and so this is beautiful energy because I feel like this is not only abundance, but this is like abundance overflowing. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm excited for you, Gemini. I'm so excited for you. This is beautiful. I've never had this in a reading to where there was like two sets of tens. Okay, tell me more, Spirit, um, about this Ten of Cups energy. What is this Ten of Cups energy? Okay, we have the Nine of Wands, the Tower. Look at that change. And the Devil. Okay, you may be dealing with a Capricorn. This may be Capricorn energy in this Devil. Because when I see the Devil, I see Capricorn. I don't always see, you know, the negative part of it. Um, but I feel like with this Ten of Cups energy, you're like gaining 
stability. You're being persistent. You're setting new boundaries because I feel like something, something that ended this beautiful freedom. Look at this. The tower can also represent freedom. Okay. Being free from that old uh, lifestyle that was keeping you stuck down, keeping you binded. So I feel like with this devil and this tower, you are now being free from that old energy. Something that, you know, felt, made you feel stuck. You know, that made you feel kind of binded down. I feel like you're being set free, if that makes any sense. But, um, like I said, the, this devil card could be a Capricorn if you are... If you are in connection with a Capricorn, if you have a Capricorn close to you, or if your mate or partner is a Capricorn, uh, that could represent their energy as well. Okay. Um, Spirit, tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles, please. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords, the Hierophant. And the world card, look at this, completion. Yeah, you're no longer feeling in lack. There's changes being made. Because you stood your ground. You, you stood on what you believe in. You created something that was viable. You know, you did the research. You, you may be teaching. You may be some sort of spiritual guru. Um... Or your, in, your spirituality could be increasing. But you're at a completion. You've ended a cycle. You've, you've hit the threshold. You, you know, you've crossed that. Um, you, you crossed the finish line. You've achieved the goal. You know, beautiful energy. Okay, and with the Knight of swords we have the strength card we have the knight of pentacles and we have the ace of wands so definitely taking some more inspired actions and i feel like these are new ideas the this is something new coming in for you i'm moving that over a little bit so you can see it um but i feel like you you are gaining stability you're being strong you're being courageous right now i feel like you you are seeing thing you're seeing yourself as being fearless okay um and you're like feel this gift of creativity coming towards you you may have a burst of ideas, a burst of inspiration to create. Um, you may also have the um, burst of being assertive, just getting out and doing it, being exciting. You know, I, I feel like this is like excitement, exhilaration, you know, all bundled up in this big ball of fire, you know. Um, but with this Knight of Pentacles, I feel like it's bringing more stability. I feel like whatever the situation was, you had to be patient. You had to work hard. So this is something that you worked very hard to get to. You did not get to this place overnight. You put in the work. You put in the hard work. You were reliable. You were patient to wait for this to come through. But this is a huge, huge reward. Okay? This is huge rewards coming through for you. And I'm going to go ahead and look at this. This is beautiful energy. You know, where this is over. Look at this. Beautiful energy this is abundance happiness manifesting your dreams this is mind blowing changes okay beautiful energy Gemini and I know I just messed up all of the cards but I you know I'm getting excited here Okay, <laughs> I'm getting so excited for you, Gemini. Okay, let's get some monology cards for Gemini. 
get some monology cards to end this reading. <clears throat> Your commitment is being tested. Wow, okay. A new romantic cycle begins. Love and happiness. And the energy is gaining momentum. Beautiful energy. So whatever this is, this is huge abundance. Huge recognition. Being noticed. I'm surprised the Six of Wands didn't come out today. But, I mean, this is beautiful. Look at this. Believe in the impossible. You're doing it, Gemini. This abundance is coming forward for you in a huge way. Okay? So, enjoy the changes. Enjoy the journey. And work through your fears. Because you are stronger than you believe. Okay? Okay, Gemini, this is what I have for you for the next 48 hours. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. I do have the playlist for the February reading. So if you want to go back and take a look at your sun, moon, and rising in February to get more understanding or more clarity on your situation, uh, feel free to do so. You can find that playlist um, on, on my website or I will attach it to this video. Okay, so Gemini, until your next reading, many blessings, love and light.